it will pour cash back into the banks. This will improve the bank's balance sheets, allowing them to lend more money and so make profits. The rest of the bailout will come from selling stakes in the banks and from the treasury. But many say instead of a bailout, what really needs to be done is to reform the banks to make them more efficient in things like lending. If that's not done, the government may have to dive into its savings once more to rescue the banks again. Hey, asteroid mining, it sounds like science fiction, but investors like the co-founder of Google, Larry Page, are now trying to turn it into science fact. And some firms claim that it will be possible in less than 25 years. But what are they looking for and is it uh, worth the cost? Let's find out. Mitch Hunter Scullion, I love the name Mitch by the way, is uh, CEO and founder of Asteroid Mining Corporation. Love that as well. You join us. Hey, um, do we have, we landed a, we, uh, the world did basically, yeah. the European Space Agency, landed a, um, a craft on, um, it was Rosetta wasn't it? Yeah, on it a, Rosetta on a, Oh, was that a comet? Yeah, that was a um, comet 67. Okay, so because my question was, do we have the technology? Oh, so we can send yeah. things up there, but it's got to dig, mine, and bring it home. So demonstrably, we have the technology to get to asteroids now. Yeah. So what we now need to do is work out extraction techniques for resources on those asteroids. So once we have the technology, that's what we're developing at the Asteroid Mining Corporation. When we have that technology, we're essentially looking at expanding the global economy out beyond Earth orbit and into the asteroid belt. Um, are you taking advantage of, because we talk about a lot on this program, you take, oh, we've got some, um, uh, some pictures now running, <laughs> but are you taking advantage of the big space, the commercial space race that we're seeing at the moment, right? Yes, there's a, been, in the past few years, quite a large reduction in launch costs, so we're trying to take advantage of that, because at the minute it suddenly became cost-effective to start looking at asteroid mining as a new industry for the United Kingdom and the world. But why then? Why asteroid? Does it also suggest that we're running, we're running out of minerals here on Earth? Well, we are. The Earth's resources are finite, so we have to eventually start looking at expanding beyond the limitations of growth we have here. So by expanding the global economy out to, be, to the asteroids, you're essentially beginning a post-scarcity economy. Who, here's the thing I want to know. Um, who, who owns up there? I mean, like, can you just go up and pick, pick an asteroid and say, that's ours now? Well, under Article 2 of the Earth to Space Treaty, you are not allowed to appropriate celestial objects, but... Essentially, you can compare it to fishing. If you can go and no one owns the sea, but if you mm -hmm. can fish, you by the 